I've tried, <laughs> I have tried to make this video so many times. Let's just jump right into it guys. This is my review of the ZTE Blade 10. Roll the intro. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get Hello guys, how are you? My name is David DeFranco from DavidDeFran.co. Yes, that's an actual website that just works out with my last name. It's riveting. I know. Anyway, I, I've done so many takes of this video because I try to be funny, I try to be witty, I try to be in depth, but David, relax. It's just you. It's just you and a couple thousand people. Not a big deal. Anyway, guys, how are you today? Welcome to my review of the ZTE Blade 10. So for this video, I figured let's break away from the norm for a little bit. I'm not going to go super in-depth about pros and cons, and of course I'll be talking about pros and cons because I feel that's important for a phone purchase because I'm assuming you're watching this video because you might be interested in buying this for yourself. But at the same time, I also want to make things easier on you guys with the holidays just around the corner. So for today's video, I am going to cover 10 things that I've been enjoying about the ZTE Blade 10. And I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised considering it's extremely low price tag. It's not bad. I'll talk about that more in a bit. All right, let's jump into the list. Number one, it's an incredibly light and thin build. Seriously, guys, the ZTE Blade 10, I mean, the first thing that came to my mind when I opened the box is I'm like, damn, this thing is light. It weighs just 165 grams, which translates into 0.36 pounds, and it's only 0.31 inches thin. So uh, yeah, if you're like me and you appreciate a well-designed product, this phone will not disappoint. It's very light. Number two, the 6.3 inch display is beautiful. You get a resolution of 2280 by 1080, a pixel density of 401 pixels per inch. And well, guys, come on, I gotta say, the water drop notch, you know, they call it the water drop, the little uh, dot up here, it just looks amazing. Like, it just looks incredible, and that's a lot coming from me because I'm a huge fan of Phenema. I, I don't know what I just said there. I'm a huge fan of my iPhone 10, but this notch, it's looking a little antiquated compared to phones like this. Just saying. All right, let's jump into the cameras. Number three, the ZTE Blade 10 has three cameras to take advantage of. First up is the front-facing camera, and I gotta say, the resolution is kind of mind-blowing. 16 megapixels. Now, with that said, I gotta be honest, picture quality, in my opinion, is okay. I mean, the pictures are sharp for the most part, but in my experience, colors just look very muted. Now, this isn't a huge deal because you can always bump up the saturation and the contrast and all that stuff in post. You typically want a camera that works well out of the box. So for someone like me, the front-facing camera didn't exactly blow my mind, but I gotta say, the 16 megapixel resolution alone, it's pretty impressive. All right, so flipping the phone around, let's talk about the rear-facing cameras. We do have two cameras on the back. One of them is 16 megapixels, and the other one is five megapixels. And of course, with these cameras combined, you can get the typical portrait mode, which is cool. Number four, security. Security is important. I mean, why wouldn't you have some kind of security lockdown on your phone? I mean, guys, especially nowadays with all the photos and videos we're taking and personal documents, password protected doc, all that stuff, people keep a lot of personal stuff on their phone. I know I do. I mean, it's really no different with other Android phones, but the ZTE Blade 10 offers it plenty of security options. We've got screen lock, which allows you to use swipe, pattern, pin, or a password. There is a fingerprint reader on the back, which actually works quite well. And of course, face verify. I don't think this is as complicated as something like face ID, but in my experience, check it out. Looking at the camera, swiping up, it works. Number five. Battery life is surprisingly exceptional. Not only do we have a 3200 milliamp hour battery, I, th I, think, I think I just said that weird. 3200 milliamp hour, that's what I'm trying to say. But we also have smart battery optimization built right into the ZTE Blade 10. Combine those two factors and guys, I gotta say, I was very, very impressed with the battery life. I mean, I, I've been charged this phone in a couple days. I was playing PUBG earlier today, which barely affected the battery. I've been taking pictures just, you know, kind of running it through its paces, and I'm still at 67%. So in other words, you can get 
probably a couple days with average usage on this phone. Now, unfortunately, I haven't tested this on the phone network and I probably never will because I'm using it on Wi-Fi only, but still, battery life is surprisingly good. So, ZTE, props. Number six, <laughs> I hate this Amazon Basics chair. It's terrible, it just keeps making noises, then I have to do retakes and cuts. Watching videos in full screen on the ZTE Blade 10 is a beautiful thing. This is mostly thanks to the water drop display. Also, we have a 19 by nine aspect ratio. So in other words, you kind of get lost in your content and I say lost in a good way. Videos just look great on this phone and it's just a very enjoyable experience. Number seven, taking photos with the fingerprint reader on the back of the phone is surprisingly convenient. This is something I've never done in Android before, so excuse my ignorance, this might be common amongst other Android phones. The fact that I can literally just put my finger on the back while of course in the camera app and take my picture, that's a huge deal because so many times I find myself, whether it's Android or iOS or whatever, I find myself trying to tap the screen and avoid camera shake. But with the ZTE Blade 10, I can just do this. I can conveniently rest my finger on the back and take the picture. That's really cool. Number eight. Storage is extremely expandable. Now, you do get 64 gigabytes on board, which is probably fine for most people considering a lot of people like myself use cloud storage. Like I love cloud storage, but if you're old fashioned and you enjoy keeping your files on the phone itself, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You get 64 gigs by default. However, you can expand it using the micro SD slot um, up to two terabytes. Two terabytes, it's a lot of data. Number nine, you can unlock the ZTE Blade 10 simply by resting your finger on the fingerprint reader without even first turning the screen on. You can literally just rest your finger on the back. Check it out. The screen is off, rest my finger, and it's on and unlocked. Now, I'm gonna say it again, this might be common on Android, but the fact that I don't have to tap the screen or anything or press the power button on the side, I can literally just do this. That's really cool. I know I'm saying really cool a lot, but you guys gotta understand, I'm a daily iPhone user. So to see this kind of convenience in an Android device, to me, it's nice. And finally, the most important feature of all, number 10, the price. How much do you think something like the ZTE Blade 10 costs? I'll give you a hint, it's less than $200. Yep, you guessed it, $100 and $79 unlocked. This means you're not connected, or tied down rather, you're not tied down to any kind of network like AT&T, T-Mobile, or whatever. $179 and you guys can do anything you want with this phone, which I think is pretty cool. So guys, there you go. There is my review of the ZTE Blade 10. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, huge thanks to ZTE for making this video possible, I appreciate it. Oh, and finally, it is linked right below in the video description. So treat yourself, treat someone else. Guys, it's the holidays. Now is the time to give. And let's face it, everybody needs a phone. Not once a phone, needs a phone for a variety of reasons. So check it out right below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.